We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smooth. You are to escort Ambassador Sokat to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Call Rec holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, this is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. 
When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Many years ago, Pajem was used for political purposes. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was hidden beneath the sacred sanctuary. It should never have happened. Buildings that had stood for twelve centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. When the monastery was rebuilt, we pledged to keep it safe from the cares of the galaxy. Only those who seek peace may enter. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I neither trust him nor distrust the ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak to the abbot, and has refused a mind meld with me. Normally I could respect his privacy, but other things I have heard trouble me. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Sokoth has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. Tapella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study, and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Tapella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll. She hopes the peace of Pajim will restore him. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on Pajem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Soketh's request does not qualify. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Soketh says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Excellent. Our departure has been delayed long enough by the whims of one man. I am prepared for the journey and can leave immediately. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory, and you are clear for departure. Live long and prosper.
is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Perhaps today is a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming. Proof? Pa! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close hailing frequencies. My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. Then the beast is slain? Makka! Very good. Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead! Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it for what it truly is. A grint hound in Tark's clothing. There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. 
My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Potentially, but only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have, in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault? A true warrior strikes without mercy, Captain! I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now, but I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain, let not my journey here be for naught. A wise precaution. Your inventory has a replicator that allows you to buy and you can purchase common
I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out.
The Ambassador was an Undine? Hmm. I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth space dock. It may need assistance. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. of the transport SS Azura. Please help! Warp core containment field down! Radiation flooding ship! Communications and life support failing! Cannot eject warp core! Need immediate evacuation and assistance! Please help us!
to any ships in range. This is Dana Brat of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured. Taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us! Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir.
ambush on our way to K-7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orions boarded the ship! I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. It is no surprise that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a freighter. But their call for assistance has given us a chance for glorious combat. It's good for you, Starfleet. We are taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo.
attempting to get a transporter lock on Captain Brot, sir. Boosting containment. We have a captain. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. The Azura was a transport ship, best in the quadrant. Mostly I hauled medical supplies or farming equipment, but I had room in the cargo bays for a little of everything. I have one customer who is just crazy for Tranya. I don't save the galaxy on a regular basis like you Starfleet types do, but hauling cargo is a good way to make a living. I'm helping people in my own way. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. There's thieves, pirates, and a whole lot of trouble if you ask me. Raiders have always been a danger to ships like mine, but the problem has gotten worse since the Orions allied with the Klingons. Now they think they can do anything to anyone. Someone needs to put a stop to these raids. You saved my crew. I we have been having trouble with the Warp Corps for a few days. I was hoping I could make it to the closest starbase, but... When the containment field started to collapse, I used every bit of power we had to help stabilize it. The minute I rerouted power from the shields to the containment field, the Orions were there. For all I know, they detected I was in trouble and were waiting for the right time to pounce. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. Go back to Belaris for a few weeks, I suppose. I have enough Latinum saved up to get me back on my feet. As soon as I can get another ship, I'll be doing transport runs again. I have customers waiting. You saved my crew. Well done. You saved that crew just in time. Congratulations, Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation Science Station in the Kasei system, because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. It may be that the communications array is in need of repair.
Please make the necessary repairs to the communications array and re-establish contact with the science station. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. just stormed in and started shooting. The first sign of trouble was when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts we spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires. The Gorn, they Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the crew of the USS Stargazer, discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site ever since. It's a fascinating find. There are more than 40 kilometers of catacombs under this facility. We've barely managed to explore a quarter of what we think is here. Two years ago, we found a star chart in the catacombs that indicated that this civilization had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. The chart led us to another site on Cassay 4 where we found the most extraordinary artifacts. If we're correct, the race that once lived here may have been an advanced proto-reptilian race. The Gorn. They just stormed in, and the Gorn have extremely long memories. Thousands of years ago, the Gorn hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, that means these planets are still theirs. The alliance with the Klingons has inspired the Gorn to start rebuilding their empire. Every planet from here to Cestus III is in danger. The Gorn. They just stormed in and started shooting. Not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. I'm coming with you, Captain. There's too much at stake, and I know this project.
Calling on invasion was a blow to Gorn's self-determination and identity. the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. if the Gorn had just asked. I guess when one of your leaders turns out to be a shapeshifter, though, it damages your sense of trust. Another research team on Kasei 4, involved in a dig at a promising site. Given what the Gorn have done here, I'd imagine that team is in trouble. Captain, we have to check on them. If the Gorn have taken over the dig site, the researchers could be captives. Or worse.
This is the dig site that our team was working on. They set up several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield dome. Lagorn probably came in and took over everything. If we disable the shield generators, we may be able to get inside and rescue the other archaeologists. Look up. You can see the shield generator beams. We can follow those to find the controllers and turn off the system. Shield power is dropping! What is going on? Our understanding of Gorn evolution is woefully inadequate. Are they even offspring of the Preservers? The Gorn territorial claims aren't entirely without merit. But they would displace billions of people. A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. Fluctuations! Increase the power to the shields! Protected shields are down! Incompetent fools!
beam up! There's no sign of the other team. no sign of the other team. The Gorn must be holding them captive elsewhere. You are meddling in affairs you do not understand. This system was the home of our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. We will not allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Prepare for death! If the archaeological sites in the Kassai system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus what the Gorn claim to be their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Congratulations. You've proven yourself to be invaluable to Starfleet and earned the respect of your fellow officers. Return to Earth space dock. I would like to formally recognize your contributions to the Federation.
controversial figure in Klingon politics, 